Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be going over Zapdos counters for Zapdos Day on July 21st. So it is going to be like a community day time. So make sure you find the correct uh, time for your area and meet up with your group accordingly. Now it is going to be learning a new quick move, Thunder Shock, which is going to benefit it as an attacker. As far as a raid, you know, boss, I think Charge Beam is going to be probably stronger because both of them are at the same rate of speed when they attack. Thundershock is going to be quicker as an attacker because, well, as a raid battle, they just don't move fast. They just all go at the same speed. So you're going to be receiving five free raid passes. You cannot collect them all at once. You're going to have to spin a gym's Pokestop, go to another gym, or wait till that Photon Disc refreshes at that gym, and then spin it again. I'm not sure if you can get two from one because we were moving so fast last time that I just didn't really pay attention. It was more of like bounce to one, to another, to another. And also, this is very important. Take note, you cannot stack the free raid passes. They're going to look like the free one a day with that different color. You're going to get it. You're going to have to use it. So if you're sitting there trying to spin these gym stops and you still have one, you're like, it's not working. Ah, what's going on? You have to use your free one first and then you'll be able to receive another one. So make sure you remember that. All right. So Zapdos, what are you going to want to use? Well, it's going to be week two, two things. So it is flying and electric. Um, it's not going to be weak to ground because, well, it is part flying type. So you're looking at rock and ice types, okay? And before we go ahead and hop into that, I just want to show you something really quick here. I did receive another EX pass, so that is putting me at 23 Mewtwo's if I catch the next two of them. And I do have an EX raid tomorrow. Nothing special is planned, no damage competition. As far as I know right now, I'm just going to show up, do the raid, and then that's that. So, as far as Zapdos counters, what are you going to want to use? So, like I said, um, rock and ice. So, let's go ahead and look up rock types here. And if you're wondering, well, what about the Alolan Golem? That's a new addition. That should be a fairly good, you know, attacker on uh, Zapdos, considering it is rock and electric. So, it's not going to be any super effective damage there on it at all. Rock Blast and... Uh, Rock Throw should be fantastic moveset to go up against it, right? Considering if it's partly cloudy, it would be not bad, at, not bad at all. That's up to you if you have one, you know, super powered up or if you want to spend the Stardust on one of these. There is actually no point if you're going to solely use it for Zapdos because you might as well go with your uh, Golems because they are both the same stats. They have the same stats. There's nothing different. The only thing different is their typing. And in fact, the regular golem is going to be doing a little bit better because it is ground type. Zapdos only has electric moves, correct? So it's not going to be very effective, therefore making golem last longer in battle. And there is your option there. Now the top, top, top attacker period up against Zapdos is going to be Tyranitar with Smackdown and Stone Edge, period. That's your best bet with the most DPS possible. If you're rolling around in a big group, sure, use your Tyranitars. Of course, you powered them up if you have a few. But you're not going to have to worry about, are we going to beat it? Because this is going to be a tier 4 raid boss stats. All right? Everything is changed. It's not a tier 5. It's it's weaker than the average Zapdos or tier 5 raid. Just like we've seen with Articuno. I would assume they're going to do the same thing with it. So there you go. Your number one attacker is going to be Tyranitar. Smackdown and Stone Edge. All right, but the thing about Tyranitar and Golem, Golem is going to be doing less damage, yes. But if you want to save potions, last longer in battle, Golem is going to be your Pokemon to go to because it is part ground type, like I said, and it's going to have reduced damage. Also with Rock Throw and Stone Edge, you could even use Rock Blast if you like. All right, so there is that option. Those are going to be your, <laughs> your best bets, folks. Right there, Tyranitar and Golem, right off the bat. And if you're wondering, well, how many trainers is it going to take? Minimal amount. We don't have that many people, and we want to know if we're going to be safe doing all these raids, just the, say, three of us. Um, you should be good if you guys are fairly strong trainers. Say you have, you know, level 32, level 35 Tyranitars, or even less Tyranitars. You know, the levels don't even need to be that high. But just say you have a general team like all Golems and Tyranitars with rock throw and smackdown and stone edge the three of you 
should be able to take out as many Zapdos as you can. You're obviously not going to be going through it as fast as a bigger group. That's, you know, obvious, right? But you're still going to be able to do it. It's not going to be that tough, okay? Trust me, you got this. Three people, maxed out Tyranitars and Golems. Don't even need them to be maxed out, honestly. And you guys should be set to go. So there's that question answered right there. Otherwise, it's just going to be big groups hitting them up. You can literally throw in aggrons. I know, I know. Don't do that. <laughs> but I'm just trying to give you an example. It's not going to be super hard or anything like that. If you're wondering, well, what about Omnistar? Is it that good with Rock Throw and uh, Spock Slide or something? No. <laughs> it's water type. You don't want to use that. You don't want to use that at all. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to teeter down. And uh, yeah, a lot of other rock types are mixed with water. And then you have flying. So just scratch that. Best bet's going to be Tyranitar and Golem, period. Okay. Now let's go over to its next set of weaknesses, which is going to be Ice. Let's see what we have in the options there. Now, it's not looking too great for Ice either because a lot of them are flying, water, and, well, those are weak to electric type moves. So, for instance, we have Articuno, which can counter Zapdos, but also it's going to get destroyed by its electric attacks. You're better off picking a Golem or something like that around that nature. I would <laughs> even a, probably even a Rhydon with Stone Edge would be better at that point. Um, and then you have uh, Tyranitar, but don't go into don't go into a raid with people using Rhydon. Okay, just giving you an example. And then you have um, Lapras with Frost Breath and Ice Beam, which could have been a good counter, but it's Water type. It's going to get destroyed. You might as well not go with that as well. Uh, and the pattern is just going to continue. Another good counter here, but it is also Water type, so you don't want that. Jinx could work, but it's such a glass cannon. It's such a glass cannon. I mean, if you have them powered up, you want to do some fun trick raids, uh, duo, possibly, and you have all ice moves, <laughs> give it a shot. You're going to need this set here, Frost Breath and Avalanche. Um, but, I mean, come on. There's many other options to pick. I'm just giving you the rundown on the ice types now. This is actually, you know, somewhat of a good counter here. It doesn't have any weaknesses from Zapdos. And if you did have Powdered Snow and Ice Beam, you will be doing a decent amount of damage. It's obviously not going to even come close to Golem or Tyranitar, but it's still, you know, something you might want to throw in. You know, you worked hard to get your Alolan Vulpix, you finally have it powered up, and you're like, hey, I want to use this in battle. Let's give it a shot. Now, if there's only three of you or two of you, you still should probably be able to throw it in there. But, you know, be warned that it might not be the best option to do that, so... There is that as well. And, you know, another ice Pokemon that is part water that could have had potential to do good against Zapdos, but it's just going to get destroyed because of its typing. Peloswine is actually a good option with uh, Ice Shards and Powdered Snow. It is part ground type, so it will actually get reduced damage from Zapdos. So if you have a few of these that are powered up, it's not the strongest thing around, but hey, it's still going to be a good option to use considering... Is part ground type, right? But make sure you don't have Bulldoze because that's not going to be very effective to Zapdos. Then we have another Jinx. And yeah, let's just back out and see what we have here. Technically, you can use Reggie Ice. Not Rock Smash or Earthquake because both of those moves are not very effective to Zapdos. You're going to want Frost Breath and Blizzard. Fairly tanky Pokemon, so if you did... That is called Glaceon because of when I was making my thumbnails. Let's actually switch that back here. All right. So, I mean, if you used one of these, you actually powered one up, you were that brave and did so, then I would actually use this if I were you. Because, well, you spent the Stardust, you made the investment, you might as well use your Reggie Ice. Uh, it's going to take neutral damage from the electric moves, and it's going to be dishing out super effective damage. Not only that, but it's actually quite tanky. So this is not a bad option for you to go up against Zapdos also. Now that I think of it, yeah, that'd be actually pretty good. But I'm never going to power one up, so hey, that's okay. And then it's just going down and down and down. Of course, Sneasel is, you know, something you could use with Ice Shards and... Was it Avalanche? Avalanche? Yep, there it is. But at this point, we're just going so low on the food chain. We might as well just not go any lower. Because your DPS is dropping quite significantly. 
So should I make a team just to um, give you a good visual as to what you want to use? Uh, let's go ahead and just call it, let's just call it nothing for now. Uh, did that even make it? No, it didn't. It has to be called something, so we'll just call it new party. So what am I going to personally use? Um, let's go ahead and do this. I was thinking about Kyogre for a second, but nah, it's water. If you, And plus, even if you had Thunder, it's still not going to be doing much to uh, Zapdos. Alright, so Ragnarok. Rock throw. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Smackdown and Stone Edge. And then, where's my other one? There it is. That's another Smackdown Tyranitar, Stone Edge, obviously. And I'll put in my Shiny here because it is still doing more damage than Golem at a lower level. It doesn't, it's still, yeah, it's crazy. Um, now let's go ahead and put in Golem because here's the nice thing. If you don't know by, by now, when you type in a name before uh, and then you actually pick the Pokemon and then say you wanted to add something else or do something else with the name, it would have been gone. You had to retype it in, but now the name stays. That's fantastic. Thank you, Niantic. Big thumbs up. That is a good quality of life feature for this game. It's stuff like that, little things like that, that just improve the game so much and make the experience so much more smoother and enjoyable. So these are all going to be Rock Throw Stone Edge Golems. So if you're thinking to yourself, when Tyranitar with Smackdown came out, I can't believe that that's going to be the new best rock attacker by far. And it is, but at the same time, it's time to bust out your golems again. They're part ground type. So it has a little bit more of an advantage over Tyranitar at this moment. It's not going to be doing more damage per se, but it's going to be able to possibly survive a little bit longer or just as much. If you say if you didn't power up a bunch of Tyranitars and you're like, I don't have that Stardust. I don't, you know, I don't play that much, but I did invest in all my golems over time for the legendary birds um, and Ho-Oh and stuff like that. And great, now I'm sitting on these that are not even as good. Don't worry, you're good to go. You're good. Use your golems and you should be looking fantastic, okay? So there you have it, trainers. Best counter is going to be Tyranitar, Smackdown, Stone Edge, followed up by Golem, Rock Throw, Stone Edge, or Rock Throw, Rock Blast. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to help you out. And with that said, I'd like to say thank you for watching and I'll be catching you all next time.